Alright everyone, I'm Taryn and welcome to another free-to-play unlimited episode which is going to be dominated by a bunch of upcoming shooters and MOBA games. Which ones are they? Make sure to stick around so you can find out. FreeMMOStation.com Free to play unlimited. After what seemed like an eternity, Warface is finally being released on the PC on October 21st. Warface is Crytek's highly anticipated online shooter, which is already available in Russia, China, and even Brazil. Recently, Warface was in the spotlight due to the prominent female warrior cleavage, which the Russian player's feedback apparently is to blame for the outfits. We don't find it a problem at all, and in fact, we consider it to be more restrained than most of the games nowadays. But what do you guys think of this? Blizzard is working on a MOBA called Blizzard All-Stars, but actually not anymore. It's now called Heroes of the Storm. There was a bit of legal fuss between Valve and Blizzard over who owned the rights to the Dota name. So this upcoming MOBA went from Blizzard Dota to Blizzard All-Stars to hopefully the final Heroes of Storm. The studio revealed the change with the cartoon video you're watching right now. We still don't know much about Heroes of Storm besides that it is a free-to-play and will feature popular characters from Blizzard's portfolio, which pretty much translates to Warcraft, Diablo, and Starcraft. Here's hoping they manage to squeeze in some of the Lost Viking characters as well. The big reveal is scheduled for this year's BlizzCon. Extraction, the free-to-play online PC shooter previously known as Dirty Bum, has just entered closed beta testing. This game is developed by Splash Damage of Brink and Wolfenstein Enemy Territory fame. Players will be invited to the beta and wave, so sign up at the official website for a chance of being picked. Extraction is set in London and so far offers five classes to choose from. Gameplay is said to be tactical and highly competitive, which means I should probably steer clear because I'm a very competitive person. <laughs> Our latest first look is on the chibi MMORPG Hero of the Obelisk, also known as Dungeon Hero, in its original release. Alright, so we'll go to our next quest. So obviously this game's gonna be a uh, super... Is that person wearing a duck suit? So obviously it's pretty popular right now as it is, even though it's a closed beta. So this game is the sequel to a beloved tower defense title that was released in 2011. Development isn't exactly the smoothest since the studio decided to go for a MOBA-style PvP before ditching the idea and going back to a tower defense plan. The first one to write the answer in the comments will see his or her name featured in the next free-to-play unlimited episode. Magic has an indie hit, a funny co-op game that is now getting a free-to-play action PvP spin-off. The craziness is going to ensue. Magicka Wizard Wars is an action PvP game that some players like to call a MOBA, and we can understand why they do so. In the game, two teams of four wizards fight in extremely chaotic battles, all with friendly fire in effect, which will surely result in some amazing laughs as well as occasional despair. The amazing on-the-fly combination of effects to create new and surprising spells is returning for this game. Magicka Wizard Wars is expected during 2014, but the game is already available on Steam Early Access in case you want to buy one of three packages to get it before most players. You can also sign up on the official website at a chance to get a free key, but those are quite rare right now. Alright everyone, the show is over, but you can't stay here. Don't worry though, you can always come back in two weeks. See you then, bye! Hey everybody, I'm Taryn and welcome to another free to play. That's what we're doing, right? Yeah, it's free to play limited. <laughs> Blizzard is woking, wokey, woking. Drop that bass. <laughs>